exactly right. We've been talking about brush piles this entire tournament. The nice thing being near the headquarters of Humminbird, they actually went out on the lake and got us a screenshot of what a brush pile looks like beneath your boat. And if you take a look at this, here's the bottom of Lake Eufaula right here. And then you'll see that brush pile with the branches coming out with a pile of bait above it with the bass beneath it. But the other side of this is a lot of the technology that these guys are using. Ronnie, let's go to what's called Mega 360. And here's what it is. You see the boat in the center, okay? With this 60 foot radius, it's basically underwater sonar to show you. Right here, you would wanna make that cast. Here's your brush pile off to about two o'clock. And you see that brush pile at about 30 feet from your boat. So you basically make a cast at two o'clock and you will come right through that brush pile. And we said this enough is it's a law of average. If you can hit 50 of those a day, and trust me when I say this, there are tens of thousands of, of planted brush piles in this lake. If you can hit as many as possible, make three to five casts to these brush piles throughout the day, somewhere you will catch five big ones. And they say, Z, you, you wonder how, how can I tell this is a good brush pile or how can I tell how tall it is via this view? That's what those dark shadows, dark, those dark shadows, it's showing that that sonar is gonna ping that brush pile and however long that shadow is, that's how big that brush pile is. And for somebody at home, some of these brush piles are, they're, the radius of them, they're enormous. They're not the size of, of a desk. Some of them are the size of a flatbed truck, and that's how a lot of them get into this lake.